Hi everybody, it's Sally from Sally Stampers. Thank you for joining me today. Today I'm bringing you a fairly simple project. I know there's been quite a few um, creations of these beautiful heart foil tins um, shown everywhere, but I hadn't got round to using them, decorating them, etc. Um, my husband and I are hopefully moving house very soon. No date as yet, but hopefully moving house. And yes, I will have my own craft room, so very excited. Um, and so I said to him, please don't buy me any flowers for Valentine's Day. The vases are packed already, so I don't want flowers. Um, and we generally don't really do a great deal other than give each other a card. Um, so I said to him, please don't don't buy me any flowers. So I just thought, well, he, he loves... Um, He's not a chocolate um, fan massively, which I am completely. He more prefers sweets um, and he absolutely loves these. Um, and I was in my local shop and I think it was three for a pound. So I picked them up um, and luckily one bag just fits nicely in here. And they're pink and white, so they kind of go with the theme a little bit too. Um, I probably could fit some more in, to be fair, because there's, as you can see, there's quite a gap. But I was thinking, now oh, let's not give him too many. Oops. Let's not give him too many. Um, so, yeah, so I thought, well, I'm just going to decorate one of these tins up um, and obviously give him just this and obviously explain to him. My intention originally, we have some sweets called Love Hearts um, and it was going to be hearts in a heart-shaped tin. Um, but I couldn't, would you believe, I couldn't find any. In, absolutely criminal, I know, but I couldn't find any, so I had to go with these sweets, but I thought they went quite well. Um, it's just layering up. Um, and I have also, I have been a little bit naughty. I've treated myself to a crocodile. I was getting a little frustrated at Stampin' Up not having a small, tiny hole punch um, as our handheld retired. I'm hoping there'll be something in the new catalogue to replace it. Um, but yeah, so I, I just treated myself to one of those. And as you can see, my little heart actually goes through this, uh, sorry, my arrow goes through this heart. Um, but yeah, let's get on and make it. So. You obviously have your um, tin lid here and as you can see I have already done my arrow so it's from Heartfelt, the stamp set. Um, it's this lovely long arrow here that I simply stamped in memento and then fussy cut. Um, and yes it is cut in half because actually it's too long because then it sort of sits, it kind of dips on the lid. I don't know if you can see what I mean there but yeah it sort of dips and it, I wasn't quite happy with it to be fair it does still do it a little bit on this one um, so I just thought you know what no I'm going to cut it so I've stamped and fussy cut my arrow ahead of time so the first thing I'm going to do is use one of the heart doilies and I'm going to go with opposites this time so I'm going with the flirty flamingo this time as I used the real red last time I love these hearts because there's just so many in the pack, 40 hearts, I mean that's just a bargain isn't it? So to stick my doily on, I did actually use wet glue. I just felt that it looked a little tidier. I only put it on the centre part, just there, but I literally just stuck it in there and stuck it on and left it. And that is literally all I did with that, so I'm going to leave that to dry for a moment. So the next part then is my punching. So we've got the beautiful heart punch pack. So we have scalloped and straight. Um, so I'm going to use the scalloped on some real red. And then for my white part, we're going to do some stamping. Yay! So I've used this lovely outline here. As you can see, this is already well loved. So there's my lovely heart. And I'm also going with my favourite sentiment in this, from my heart to yours. Simple as that. And then I've got my whoop, flirty flamingo. So just work with my doily. So again, just stamping that part of the heart just got my stamp and scrub over to the side here. I don't know why my desk is wobbling. That's a bit worrying because it never used to. It's all going to come crashing down in a moment. 
and then from my heart is just being stamped in the centre, just there. Why is that wobbling? That's really got me worried. Right, my husband's going to have a job when he gets home. <laughs> so that's all the stamping that I needed to do, it was just simply that. And then with the, the straight heart, I'm just going to punch that out just like so and then to use my hole punch here what I actually did was I turned my heart over and decided where so obviously the front of my arrow is going to come out here and the tail will come out this way so I just kind of drew myself a pencil line because when you pop the front part in and then you adhere the back part, if you've not got them in that line, you could have that kind of thing going on and it will look a bit odd. So I used the line and then I used my smallest punch, which is just here. And then, oh, I've got my... Ignore me. I'm still new to this, I'm still learning. So I'm just going to punch my first hole just there, which is just, can you see, just on the pencil line. And then what I'm going to do is, I'm, as you can see, if you hold this up to the light, you can see the stamping. Because I don't really want to stamp and miss, stamp through one of the words. So as I'm holding it up to the light, I can pop my hole punch in there and yes I have just taken the corner of the T off but hopefully that's actually okay and then I've got some snail to just run along there so my arrow head will now just and if it is too wide you just need to trim this a little thinner so I'm just going to pop my arrow head through and I want it about there if you want to you can use your pencil line as a guide and then your tail end will need to be trimmed again because they are too long really for this project and then I'm just going to feed that through and again just try and line it up with that pencil line that I have and now hopefully you put a ruler against it you have that straight line as if it has gone all the way through okay so I'm going to pop some don't, I'm actually going to pop a little bit of glue over the back of those as well just to hold them in place I then want some dimensionals on here and this in fact I'm going to put one there too and then this is going on top of my scalloped heart. It's really, really windy here today. I don't know if you can hear it. So that's just going to sit on top of my scalloped heart, just like that. Oops. And then I want to pop some dimensionals on the back here. But on my original, you see I have this ribbon. So I'm going to grab my real red double stitched ribbon and I did actually measure it across my lid so I know that it wants to be cut about there and then with my I use these because these are my sharpest tidiest scissors I just cut the little banner tail in the ribbon so that's that end done and then I'm going to do the same on the other end a little bit carried away on this one but never mind I've also found that although you can pull card you can't generally pull ribbon because it makes a mess okay so my lovely beautiful double stitched ribbon here so I'm going to use a glue dot to stick it onto my scalloped heart and then I'm coming in with my dimensionals now just to go on here 
and I'm actually going to stick them on the ribbon too so it'll hold everything in place take the backing off this one this always feels like it takes so much longer than it should <laughs> and then whoops and then this is now going on here and it is just a simple case of trying to make sure it's all lined up and press those down and you can obviously pop your fingers on the inside here make sure all those dimensionals are stuck down and then the last thing is these gorgeous faceted um, gems which I use glue dots on so I'll just quickly change my top here because I need my my sticky stuff okay so I want one of the large pink ones that's going to go on straight onto the glue dot and then that can sit in that corner now the smaller ones which I'm going to go for a red one. I'm just looking for a red one that's right side up, but I don't think. Let's try and do it upside down, see if that helps. No. Okay, so let's just pick that one up and I'm going to pop it on there. So I've got one of the smaller red ones. Now, they're too big for a whole glue dot. So what I generally do is I get my pointy end of my take your pick and I kind of almost cut through the glue dot in half. So now I have a little bit on here and a little bit left there. And then what I tend to do is use the bit of the glue dot. So can you now see, let's get it to focus. So the glue dot actually does now fit on my gem and then I can just pop it on to there and then all I need to do is fill my little tin with these sweeties pop the lid on and there is my whoops sweets in a heart tin aren't they just beautiful I love them can't wait to give them. Hope you like my ideas and hope to see you all again soon. Have a great day. Bye.